we're going to look at how to search using the realist. The realist is a report uh, that has pretty much everything you could possibly think of as far as that home goes. Doing it again. Um, so I'll, I'll, tell, I'll show you how to get to the realist report. This is what it looks like. Um, the realist report, once you type in any MLS, whatever, uh, number, address, whatever, you're actually clicking on this page, it'll have down here, most always, oftentimes, it will have uh, text ID. You want to what we're talking about now. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Uh, you're going to hit this button, Launch Realist. And this is going to give you a whole bunch more information. If it comes up. Okay. It takes some time to pop this up sometimes. It's, uh, it's got a lot of information in here. So, um, here's the first part of this. We're just going to kind of look at this and see... Okay, it's four bedrooms, two bath, 1,800 square feet, 10,000 square foot lot. Sale price, this is the last sale sales it sold. It sold in 2005 for 420,000. Uh, it's at 460 now, which means they made some money on it. Probably not behind anything. So 354, 354, three, what have you. Um, taxes, ooh, per year, those are really low. Um, 3,056. So it's gonna give you more information. Here's a, here's a handy number. Um, this here is the uh, real AVM. This is more or less a guesstimate. So this is kind of like a Zillow price. Uh, it takes a bunch of information from um, wherever, um, just public records, previous sales, what have you. And it gives you that, the, the price that they think the house should be at. And these are usually pretty accurate. You know, they're kind of like Zillow, but, uh, but better. Uh, and then it gives you a range also of what they think uh, this is the automated valuation method. I think that's what it stands for. Um, regardless, that's um, and, and 627. So that's a pretty pretty recent one. They give you a confidence score of 82. Um, standard deviation. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but yeah, the house was for sale. Um, 71. It expired. Um, for sale for 460. So this, I mean, this is a this is a great property. This is this is who we're going to help or these kind of people. Uh, and you can kind of see through here, it'll give you some more information as far as uh, the mortgage date on here. So looking at it, they bought it. So Boeing employees, credit union, uh, 250000 That probably tells me they work for Boeing or did at one point in time. Uh, they refinanced it. It looks like they got a second loan on it for that price. Uh, and that was probably just a second loan. Uh, 2005, these were consolidated. Um, with this company, just bought them up, and uh, that's the the new price. And the loan was then, and uh, this got sold, probably sold to another bank for a mortgage amount of 150. And they might have taken out another loan on this, so they might owe up to uh, what would that be? 486 on the house, uh, minus what they paid off in the last uh, seven years or so. So we don't know. Whatever. Uh, not important. The only thing important is you know that that's a good house, uh, a good neighborhood, and it's. Uh, it will sell. So that's under the property details part. We're going to go over here underneath comparables. And it's taken a little while. Typically it doesn't take this long. Okay, it says no comparables found. Uh, basically you have to go in here every time and, and switch and that's fine. Um, so this house, okay, you're looking at the sales price. No, you're looking at today's sales price, whatever today's sales price is. So we're going to modify this. This is just to modify the search, basically. Uh, so it'll have a whole bunch of different options to modify. And you don't have to be too specific with this. You know, I know it takes time to understand, you know, all the aspects of, um, you know, putting it in the right amount. But basically, you're just going to put in this criteria. You want about 50 comparables. That's great. Uh, the price range, 275 to 4, 350 No wonder there's nothing in there. Um, and we're going to say max miles. We're going to say two miles. And you can change that just depending, you know. You, you basically want to stay with about 20, with about 20 comparables. Um, you know, if it doesn't give you 20, if it gives you two, you got to change it. If it gives you, you know, one, obviously you got to change it. If it gives you 10, you're in the ballpark. So you just kind of got to mess with these numbers until you get something you like. This house was for sale for 460000 uh, so we're going to put this range in between 400 and 500. Pretty simple. That's all that means. Year built, we don't care. 
bedrooms, three to four. I believe this is a three-bedroom house, so we'll go three to four. Uh, bathrooms, two to three, sure. Um, property images, property images, please. All these, just you know, just leave these checked. Uh, distance from subject, that's the sort method. So we're doing with the closest to this property is going to be um, how they arrange our thing. Uh, search period, we're going to go back a year on this one. To be honest, I don't, I don't think we'll find uh, too much just because I think this house is pretty low priced for the area. Uh, building and living area differences, just a square footage. The square footage is 1,800, so this would give us 25% more, roughly uh, 450, so it would put it in the range of 2,250 down to uh, about 1,300. We're gonna we're gonna change that up a little bit, um, just because we wanted to go down a little lower. Lot area. This is the size of the lot. So I think this was on a 10,000 square foot lot. Uh, this will make it so it's either 20,000 or zero, um, or 20,000 or 5,000. I'm sorry. And I would leave this the same. And let's do uh, submit. Don't do save and submit. Just do submit. We'll see what it comes up with. I'm guessing we'll have less than 10. And it takes a while because it's pulling, um, you know, it's pulling up a lot of information. Maybe it should be faster, but you know, I, I give it, I give it its due respect. All right, well, that's, well, we found 20 comparables. Uh, that's awesome. So, great. Um, well, that's good information to have. This way, we kind of know. Um, and, and I'll basically use this report before I go into a listing meeting. I want this report just so I can look at it, just so I can have an idea of what the neighborhood houses are selling for. So, uh, so I kind of know what the home is worth, more or less. Um, every time I'm going on a listing appointment, I'll want one of these done. Um, whoever does it, um, you know, my wife, um, the awesome appraiser, um, <laughs> or whoever. Uh, this is just basically for my own information. So I go in to a listing meeting armed with this information so I know how much their house should cost um, both before and afterwards. And the ones without pictures, I'll have a picture here if there's pictures, and the ones without pictures, I just get rid of them because I don't even care. I want to see what the pictures look like. I want to see the inside looks like. I want to see what the square footage is, uh, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, um, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, that one I got rid of because there's no pictures and I don't really care about one with no pictures. Um, bye. And I always want 20, uh, so and 20 with pictures, so I can do an update on here um, and look for more, or I can hit generate comp report, and that's going to bring up all the comps. And to change that, if say I wanted two more, to change that, you would just go in here, modify it, you would add, um, you would just hit the modifier and go back because it actually had probably more than 20 in there. I just put to show only 20. Um, so yeah, that's uh, four to five hundred thousand. Um, where'd my thing go? Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see it kind of brings up, uh, you know, uh, houses are in the area because we did within two miles. So these are all. Um, you know, these are all decent comps. Comps are comparable properties. Oh, it actually does go to zero. Okay. Uh, so now, now we're looking at this. Um, sales price, 420000 Great. Uh, that's what the old sales price was in 2005, but we're only going back a year in this. Uh, so the high sales price is 48 Low is 404 uh, So 460 you know, they're right in the range. Uh, I'm not sure what these other ones were looking like, what neighborhood they were in. Uh, I'm not going to get into that right now as far as, uh, you know, how much they cost and whatever else, but um, I'm just kind of basically showing you how to do this. Um, so then we can go to market trends. Let's see how we are on time. Okay, market trends. This um, you know we're just going to print all this off uh, in 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 PDF format, obviously. Um, save paper, whatnot. So like a 30-page report that comes out on this. Um, so yeah, that's um, just more information. This is more. I guess um, just to give me an idea of the sales volume in that area, um, you know, how many houses we're selling. Annual turnover rate is how many houses sell. Like if we have a low turnover rate, that means it's a pretty good neighborhood and people are staying. If it's a high turnover rate, that means people are leaving. Uh, annual turnover rate, sure. Uh, distressed properties. This is a good idea of how many of the properties were distressed in this zip code. So uh, you can see the city and zip code, uh, quite a few. Quite a few. Um, you know, that number's going down, though, so that's also a good indication that uh, 
things are looking up in the world. Uh, change in foreclosure activity. So we have negative change in uh, foreclosure activity, which is also good. Uh, and here's an interesting one. You know, how many homes are in uh, pre-foreclosure, REO, auction. Uh, and so basically it looks like most of them are at auction and they're being sold at the courthouse. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, it lists your neighbors. Scary information, huh? Yeah, it lists everyone that is considered a neighbor for you. If it would pull up. So basically, yeah, it has all the homes in the neighborhood, the neighbors, uh, who's living there. You can see it's kind of older home, bought for $66,000 in 1986. This one sold uh, recently, last year, 500000 So, uh, you know, it tells me if, you know, you want to put some money in that home, you're going to get some money out. Neighborhood profile, more fancy-dancy. Uh, estimated population for that. Uh, it gives you a bunch of more demographic statistics, um, you know, interesting stuff, maybe, maybe not, uh, you know, male population, yada, 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 yada. Um, Owner-occupied, 70%, rented, 26%. Uh, fair market rents for a four-bedroom like that house, you know, in the $2,000 range per month. Uh, blue collar as opposed to white collar what have you and you know some other stuff as far as <clears throat> education level yada 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 so yeah and it gives you some school information whatever this is just good stuff to have uh, when you go to meetings so look at the assessor map too the assessor is going to give you some more information and i'm just pretty much telling you what's in here this the last you know four or five pages i've showed you is is is, is mostly worthless information this is just for me uh, flood map. I usually don't put those in my report just because uh, they're not horribly important. A flood map is just, it makes the area, um, oh, actually, that's in the flood zone. Nope, see, out of the out of the special flood area. So if it was uh, in the 100-year floodplain or the coastal floodplain, it'd be a big deal. Anyway, moving right along. So we're going to take this. We're going we're gonna, to um, do a quick email on it. Sorry, we're not going to do a quick email. We're going to do a custom email. It's going to take a while to get everything. Once you hit this, it's going to make them all into PDF. So you're going to hit OK, and it's going to go, oh, wow, OK, that was pretty good. Normally, it takes a while. It goes through their whole PDF generation. So it's going to go through um, this, and then uh, going to look like uh, a PDF pretty soon. And I use this, um, I use this probably more often than I should. Um, I use this program not only when I'm going to look at a listing appointment, I use this for people that have a question about a house on Zillow. You know, I, they have a question about a house and it's, it's actually active. Boom, I'll send them a 30 page report. Here you go. Uh, for buyers that are going to buy a house, uh, they have some questions about it. Boom, here's your 30 page report. And uh, Sometimes I look at all of it beforehand. Sometimes I just let them decide and go from there. Uh, it just kind of depends on the client and how I'm feeling and how much time I have. Um, but basically, um, you know, this report is great. It makes me look super awesome. You know, it comes out 30 pages. So it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. Um, so I would say um, it's, a, it's an important tool to have for a realtor. So I'm going to just email this to myself uh, at my other Gmail address, if I can type. Uh, CC no one normally I would uh, BCC myself if I'm emailing it to someone um, for a client or for whatever just so I have a copy of it CC myself or BCC myself just depends I would if I had more than one client that was buying I would just put a comma in there actually you have to put a semicolon in here and it'll tell you uh, yeah not a semicolon one of those um, and just put the other address in there and go uh, CC same thing so yeah, I'll just write that with a little message. Hey, here's your report for the property below. Uh, hope you like it. Yada 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 yada. Send. Done. And so it sends the whole 30 page 30 page report um, to my email, uh, which we can look at here. Maybe. Bam. Real report already done. Already sent. And that's what the email is going to look like. Uh, and there's the there's the report. And you see it's 1.7 megabytes, usually about 30 pages. So that is the Realist uh, report and how to look at it. Uh, in a second here, I'm going to show you more on the Realist, basically uh, just going over um, just going over the um, how to search in the Realist report if you don't have an address. Uh, and that's it.